Well, good morning. A nice cold morning in Salem, Oregon, the start of the winter. Uh, so today we're going to talk about tuning uh, violin plates, fingerboards, and tailpieces. And uh, believe it or not, they're all going to be tuned the same way. And we'll start on the plates because they're biggest. So a principle of the foundation of tuning this plate, this would be a plate that's uh, finished uh, shaping. It's got the right shape. Go ahead and put in your purfling. And you've uh, graduated the plate, so the wood's been removed to get the thicknessing you want on the plate. So at that point, uh, we're ready to tune the plate. And you can tune it before you cut the sound holes if you want. It'd be easier that way. Cutting out the sound holes won't make a, any difference at all. It won't change the frequency. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to find the acoustical center. And uh, we're going to find these mode 5 nodal lines. And so you've probably heard of Carlene Hutchinson. And uh, this is, um, these are some of the uh, different nodal lines uh, and this is the mode 2, and this is the mode 5. So it's 1, 2, 5, and these are also some variations. And these occur at different frequencies. And um, so the one we're interested in is uh, mode 5. Okay. And we can find that with a simple piece of chalk and a tapping tool. You can even use the end of a pen. And all we're going to listen to is the high overtones. So when you tap on something, you hear a range of frequencies. And there's the bottom frequency, what I'd call a fundamental tap, which we normally use. And in this case, we're going to listen to the highest frequency, the highest overtone. And so when you listen, it's important that you simply listen. <laughs> you don't talk to yourself. If you're talking to yourself, you stop listening. Okay, you just hear. Um, so we're just going to tap along the center line and listen to that highest overtone. You can hear that again, it changes. So what we're going to do as we go along, we'll start with the high frequency. It's going to go down and it's going to start to go up at some point. Okay. And that transition will put a mark. And then as it goes this way, it's going to go up to a peak, and that's going to go back down again. We're going to measure the peak. This is the low, that'll be the low, and this will be the high. We can do this one side to side. That's right in the center line. So this would be called the acoustical center of her plate. Okay, we can do the same thing on the other side. And of course we go back in the center of the plate. If you'll see, it's same place. Okay, so now we're going to go along, and we'll just, uh, as we go out from the acoustical center, we'll just go out and listen for it to go low and then up. And this is the typical pattern going from the corners <coughs> in an arc. So just find out where it actually is. If it's graduated properly on your plate, you'll have something that looks like this.
and so same thing. <coughs> okay. And you do the same thing on this side if you want. You ha could actually tune the plate from the outside, but then you're interfering with that nice arching and the finish. So usually it's done on the inside. <coughs> so what we're going to do is, um, now that we have this marked out, we want to make um, these three even. And for a top plate, we're going to make this frequency 230. And if you've made your wood reference tool, uh, 230's right there. Sorry, 213. <laughs> we'll make that 213. So where the little X's are, these are on the wood tone scale which is the C 37 C scale, which is the um, wood tone scale. And these are the frequencies that the different parts of your violin will have. And they're all, if you listen to them, they're all on the same scale. They're all in harmony with each other. So you can actually find them just by having a tapered bass bore on a sounding board and just find the points that are all um, in harmony with each other and you've laid it out. So this is the frequency you want and I've already done some work on this one so it's going to be close. Now the use of um, wood um, Wood reference tap tone tool, and we're going to use. You could use, like you say, a pen. No matter what you use, this is a piece of spruce off a top plate, you know, scrap wood. Um, you don't, um, you don't do this, but you come down and you let go of it, and when it bounces up, you'll catch it. And if you didn't catch quick enough, you go. So that's the idea. We just um, drop it and catch it, drop it and catch it, drop it and catch it. Okay, so if you have a tool like this and you want to, uh, this is very hard here. Now we're listening for the lowest part of the overtone. And we're going to do this simply by uh, tapping, and I'll say about 10 times, and just hear it. And as soon as you're done, we're going to tap along this tapered. Um, basically a bass bar. And we're just going to listen and at some point we'll hear it sound like it's going up. And as we come down, we come back, it'll come down, 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 down. Then it'll just stay the same. Okay, let's try it out. So if this is below, that's above, then you find out what it is. In this case is 213, and this is also. So these, so we want this to be the same, that to be the same, and this to be the same. So in a violin plate, this frequency will be pretty uniform. This free, all over this end of the plate will be uniform, but they won't necessarily match. That's pretty close.